are the two mics. Simon Johnson coming up in a little while. Then later on, we're talking to an expert uh, on uh, mind reading and some yes. artificial sort of intelligence things that Facebook's working on with a guy uh, who's called Bobby Carlton. Yes. Uh, which I think is rather an unusual name. I don't know why you're making such a fuss of that. Well, it just, it just struck me. It was going to, because you hear Bobby Charlton's name all the time, and here's a guy who's got. Well, always... you hear Sir Bobby Charlton. Yeah. But, but you... Bobby Carlton is so completely different. Yeah, Carlton's... I know, but I've never heard anyone with that name, and it's very close and yeah. similar. We yeah. for one letter, it's is slightly it? different. Is isn't it? it? Is it really? I think so. Okay. Uh, now, Richard says this, has Porky just come out and compared Ooh. himself to the Beatles? Oh dear. No, I didn't. Uh, no, yes, I didn't. Did. No, uh, I didn't. Dave says, nothing would be scarier than Ooh. turning on a light in a room and finding it covered with Porky's face. <laughs> hey, and Johnny says, Porky's wallpaper, perfect mm. for anyone's love shack. <laughs> oh, well, absolutely, yeah. Mm. Now, now, I'm just about to put out a, okay. uh, a Twitter poll. Uh, okay. I wanted to see whether anybody would actually want to buy any of your uh, wallpaper with your face on it. Okay, or yeah. Or anything else. So great. So look to at the two mics and we'll do that for you. Excellent, that's great. All right. Now then, um, why did we play that record? I don't know. Do you know what the record was? It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. And who sings yeah. that? Was it not Bananarama? Bananarama. Yeah. And why? Um, I... They're reforming. Are they? Bananarama are reforming. Are they? 80 superstars Bananarama revealed the heartache that led to their reunion, the devastating loss of their great friend George Michael. Oh, yes. Now, I don't think you need a peg, really, to get back together again if you've been, you know, a great group from the 80s or something like that. And I think it's a little bit trite to say, oh, it's all down to George, yeah. you know, life's too short and all that. Well, a lot of these bands that did quite yeah. well, because they were quite successful, weren't they, in the 80s? Yes. Um, uh, presumably broke up for many different reasons. Either yeah. they fell out with each other. Yeah, or exactly. Well, that's what normally happens, isn't it? Or they want to go off in their families or something like that. You know, normally what happens in a, in a combo like that is that somebody thinks they're better than all the rest. Mm. You know, a bit like you think you're better than me in our combo, well, you know. You Think, you, you seem you obsessed know. with this idea that no. I think I'm better than you. I don't no, no. think I'm better than you at all. Well, didn't you, sorry, didn't you um, edit a uh, Rod Stewart picture and blank my face out? I did edit a Rod Stewart picture and Why take did you, you out. Do that? Uh, just because of a bit of fun on Facebook. A bit of fun? Yeah, a bit of fun on Facebook. You don't think I would have been hurt by that gesture? Well, no, I don't think you would have been. Were you hurt by it? I'm hurt. Are you? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I also put out the real picture. Which you're trying to make out that you are Rod's personal mate and no. that I don't count? No, of course not. Is that not. what it is? No, the whole point of the Facebook exercise, right, was that I'd already, for about yes. 12 hours, had yes. been the main picture, which mm. has now been seen by about 40,000 people, mm. of you and I and him yes. standing with the Celtic flag, right? Yes. So I just decided it might be a bit of fun mm. on my own personal personal Facebook page. Yeah. To do, uh, and did I did I edit out your face from that picture? Did well, I? I don't know. No, you I didn't. Because I do don't. It. I wouldn't do that. Well, I have a camaraderie. Have, you don't know how to do it. Well, yeah, but you've gone off and launched your own porky scratchings well, without any reference to me. Well, I've so invited you into the mix. What do you mean into the mix? Well, There's hang no on. picture of me on the, on the thing, is there? Excuse me. Did I invite you to come with me to Birmingham yes, tomorrow? Yes, you did. Thank you. What, what did you what, say? So I could carry your bag for you. What did you so say? So you could go, oh, look, this is the other Mike. He's got nothing to do yeah, with this, but yeah. he's just standing here because, you, you know, yeah. I've asked him to come. And what did you say to I my said, invitation? I'm, I'm too busy doing other things. <laughs> too busy doing other things. That's right. Like getting bladderated over lunch. Incorrect. Uh, no, I don't have a lunch and appointment tomorrow. Um, I do have one on Thursday, though. I know But it's with my accountant. I noticed you, you know, trying to wiggle your way towards right. Rod at Celtic Park. No, but how about, but how about the caption, though? The caption yes, said, yes. some guys have all the luck. Some guys have all the which luck. Which was part of the joke. You're part of the joke. Because it was meant to be, uh, you know, who's, who exactly is being referred to here? Is it me? Who has all the luck? Yes. Or is it him? Oh, 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 oh Rod, you so lucky mean? to be in your company. Well, that was the point. Right, now then, let me tell you about Banana Armour, yeah, okay? Yeah, go on then. Now, the group is made up of Karen Woodward, Sarah Dalin, and Shoban Fahey. Is uh, it Chauvin? Is it Siobhan? Siobhan. Siobhan Fahey, yeah. Irish name. Yes. Uh, and... Chauvin. And they... Sh yeah. Was <laughs> that yeah. guy in, uh... And that was Shogun, wasn't it? Shogun, that's right, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, they sought to fame in the same decade as pop icon George and say his tragic death on Christmas Day convinced them, do it while we can, life is too short, okay? okay? Weren't they all married to famous rock stars as well? One of them was the daughter of some famous journo that we worked with. Really? Yeah, in Fleet Street. I can't remember which one it was. You're not thinking of the girl who is, uh, 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 McElhone. You're not talking about her, are you? What's, what group Natasha she McElhone. She's an actress. No, 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 no. One of the girls, I think, in this was, it was the, I think she was, he was, the, she was the daughter of a Fleet Street guy who went on to broadcasting, actually. Really? But anyway, look, uh, what I was going to say. One of them was married to Dave Stewart, apparently. Uh, at one point. Were they? You know, from the original Was she? Yeah. yeah. Was she? Oh, okay. Mm. But anyway, what you said about them busting up, right, Pete Waterman wants to describe the three of them as a nightmare because they're all so individually opinionated, okay? Right. Um, does he like opinionated women? Hey, you're right. Sheerban, where do you Siobhan. rhythmic David Stu <laughs> Dave Stewart yes. and Karen... Yeah. Oh, I didn't know this. Karen lived with Andrew Ridgely. There you go. Who was the... Well, that would explain why they've got mate. this connection yeah. with, yeah. with exactly. Pam, then. 
Now then, how many times have I said to you that it's so unfair that um, uh, Victoria Beckham gets so much stick for the things she does? Uh-huh. You see, because um, Banana and I'm getting back together again, I've now got a list of the uh, most successful British girl bands ever, right? Yes. Uh, in second place, Banana Arm of 40 million. Right. In third place, All Saints, 12 million. Yes, they were also involved with the uh, yeah. Oasis Brothers, weren't they? That's right, that's yeah. right. In fourth place, Atomic Kitten, 10 million. And in fifth place, uh -huh. still going, Little Mix with 9 million. Right. But right up there at the top, the group that Victoria Beckham was a member of, Spice Girls. Spice Girls. 85 million. Yes. More than double the mm. second most successful Banana Rama. Yeah. So when are people going to pay Victoria some respect? Well, do you know what people are like, though, in this mm. country, don't you? Which mm. we've often said, is that they don't like you being successful. Yeah. They, you know, they find it, uh, they, they, they not people, I mean, we've talked about Beckham in the past. Yeah. People are always having a go. Yeah. Because they don't like people who are successful. That's right. Yeah. Now then, Banana Rama's biggest hits, right? And I can't even remember most of these. Well, I mean, I remember that one. Yeah, well, it's well, the way that you it, do it. It, it, ain't, it ain't what you're doing, it's the way you're doing Now, that was only their fourth most successful record. Oh, was it's it? the only okay. one I remember. The most successful one was Robert De Niro's Waiting. Yes, I remember that one. Remember that? Yeah, I remember, I remember that. that. That got to number three. Okay. Love in the First Degree. Uh-huh. Help. Help? Yeah. What, as in the Beatles? Must be. Did they record that, then? Well, I'll tell you what we'll do right. this week when we do... Oh, in fact, we're doing it tonight, aren't yeah. we? Porky's, uh... What is it? Ask Porky. Ask Porky. We could do their version instead of the, uh, Beatle one, couldn't we? Uh, yeah, we As could. Opener, if, yeah? They, if that is indeed is, is what they did. I was going to say Under the Bridge, but I think that was All Saints. It was, that was a, a version of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I, I think you are. Number four most successful record. It ain't yeah. what you're doing, it's the way that you do it. Yeah. And then things called Shy Boy really saying something. Shy Boy, I remember. Now we are yeah. really saying something. Now, the seventh one, mm. na, 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 na. Hey, hey, kiss him goodbye. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I remember that one as well. But that was a cover version of a, it was. like a 60s or 70s yeah, song. I think it was. Because of Goodison Park. Wasn't that Dozy, uh, Beaky, Mick and Titch, one of those? Well, one of them. Steam. 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 The Steam Camp or something, it was, it was, was it? did that, Steam yeah. Steam Packet. Steam Packet, was it? I think so. Yeah. I don't think it was but, a Steam Camp. But, I mean, I know how... somebody else. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the Steam what? <laughs> the Steam Camp. The Steam Camp. No, yeah. okay, yeah. But uh, the, i tell you how old that song is. Yeah, great. I used to stand on the terraces of Goodison yeah. and sing, na, 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 yeah. na. Oh, so I remember that, yeah. Na, 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 na. And what was the name? Hey, hey, yeah, hey. what was the name? Colin Harvey. Colin Harvey? Na, yeah. na, na, na. That is a long na. time ago. Na 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 That is a long time ago. Hey, hey, hey. John Howard says this. Kendall. <laughs> John says this. Na, na, Someone na, has na. to stop Porky drinking before he accesses <laughs> uh, to a mic. Yeah. Porky, Paul, Porky's wallpaper. He must be bladderated. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Uh, you no haven't heard me... What about my parry toilet paper? <laughs> you haven't heard me third one. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Alan Ball. That doesn't work. He needs it's two syllables for the last Alan name. Ball. No, it has to be it does. two syllables. It's the 10th anniversary of Alan Ball's death, by the way. Is it? Yeah. What, today? Yeah. Is it, was, it, was it only ten years ago? I think it was yesterday, yeah. And I feel, it feels like it was a lot longer ago It's, it's absolutely terrible. And do you know what? I saw a, uh, I saw a talk with um, Mick Shannon this morning at his Islesley Stables. Oh, yeah. Which I think are in Sussex, aren't they? Uh, uh, I believe so, yeah. And then the Hampshire somewhere. They're sort of near Southampton, aren't they? Uh, well, that's Hampshire, isn't yeah. it? And, uh, and in his office, in his plush office, he has a picture above his, uh, his desk yeah. behind him mm. of himself and Alan Ball in Southampton shirt. And oh, they yeah. played together there, and he said he was his greatest mate, you know, mm. and, all, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there you go. And uh, i tell you, I found out about Alan Ball, because I, 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 I'm in the lucky position that Alan Ball was my hero of all-time footballer. Mm. And then in my later life, as an adult, and a, uh, you know, a broadcaster. Yeah. I got to meet Alan Ball so many occasions. Yeah. Mm. I mean, can you imagine that? Imagine meeting your hero like that and having a drink with him and going to the races with him and all that. Sure. And, um, young Paul Breen Turner rang me. Mm. He wasn't living on a boat in those days. He uh -huh. was a normal person yes. living in a sort of normal apartment yes. in, in Marbella. That's know. not the one he's selling, is it? I have no idea, I don't know. And, uh, and he said, are you watching Sky? Which, uh, he had over there on one of these gash cards, yes. you know what I mean? You know, so... Sort of, you know, oh, well, won't say too much of, about uh, it. Dodgy yeah. scenarios. Yeah. yeah, and I said, no, why? He said, have you said? And I looked and I couldn't believe it. Alan Ball had been watching a match the night before, mm. which I think involved AC Milan. Yeah. And then he talked to his lad, uh, Bobby, I think. I don't uh, know. Uh, Bob, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure, I'm sorry. But, um, and then put the phone down. And then they couldn't get any response from their dad uh, the following day. Mm. His family went round, and they, Alan Ball was collapsed in his back garden. He'd been, they'd had a bonfire on the night of the, the, the match, yeah. you know, some sort of barbecue or yeah. something. And he'd gone out into the garden to poke it down and, yeah. and, and make sure it had gone out. And he, he collapsed in the garden and, and he died. was on his own. 
He was on his own, yeah, everybody had gone home, you know, they'd been right. watching the match and all that kind oh, of dear. stuff. Terrible tragedy. Awful, absolutely I awful. went to, I went to his, um, his, um, service, you know, mm. at, uh, I think it was Winchester Cathedral. Yeah, mm. okay. <laughs> Thank you.